My name is Valery Kravchuk and today I'm going to speak about upgrading MariaDB. In general, specifically about the role of MySQL or recently MariaDB upgrade utility in this process. I am a principal support engineer working for MariaDB Corporation for almost five years already. Before that I worked in MySQL, Sun and Oracle in support. Uh, then I moved to Percona. Again I was a support engineer and recently I am in MariaDB. Uh, in Oracle uh, I worked on MySQL bugs, so I am still a, big, uh, a bit bug addicted person. Uh, that uh, reflected in the public appearance uh, in my social networks. So I have a blog, po blog uh, named MySQL Entomologist, I have a Twitter account named MySQL Bugs, I had used to uh, write about MySQL Bugs on Facebook and everywhere. But since I moved to uh, MariaDB, I switched mostly to different topics and now I just write a lot of how-to and these kind of articles, speak about MySQL and MariaDB in public, explaining how to solve some specific, often complicated, mostly performance-related problem. I was noted as a contributor of the year. Uh, what you should also know that uh, in whatever slides I have for whatever conferences, when you see anything underlined, it's a link. And my slides are always available either at the conference site, like today at FOSDEM, uh, or always at SlideShare, so you can easily find them, download and use as a reference. Uh, a word of disclaimer, even though I work for corporation and this is my MariaDB dev room, I am not sent here by the corporation, I worked on all this at my free time and so I am free to express my own views, so it's not a corporation agenda. It's my own views, uh, they may be wrong, but I am trying my best to claim only true things I can verify or believe in. So. Uh, MariaDB upgrades uh, are recently quite popular uh, for many reasons. Some of them is that old, widely used versions of MariaDB are out of support. Uh, I speak about 5.5, 10.0 and 10.1 recently. So users are planning upgrades and going to upgrade. Customers are somewhat forced to upgrade. So if you decided to upgrade to a different MariaDB version or if you decided to move to MariaDB from MySQL or Percona server, what sources of information you may like to explore? First of all, it's our own knowledge base, public one. I'm not going to speak any about any internal enterprise only documentation or enterprise software in general. So I speak about community versions of MariaDB here. So we have a free, open, editable by everyone knowledge base uh, that has a huge collection of pages under the main one named Upgrading MariaDB. Separate page for MySQL upgrade utility. Uh, the content of these pages ev evolved over time. Uh, major event happened last year in April when Monty published his blog post upgrading between major MariaDB versions where he tried to fix common misconception about upgrades and explain how upgrades are supposed to work. Uh, as a highlight, um, he claimed that MariaDB is designed to make upgrades easy to do, and to a large extent it's true. So I uh, uh, studied some of the claims there in a separate blog post, uh, that's my blog post. Uh, it was inspired by some statements that were widely discussed uh, in our support and with our customers who tend not to do what Monty suggested and we used to suggest something different. In any case, as Monty asked to report every problem with MySQL upgrade into our Jira, that's also your source of information that I've used it here in this presentation. So it will be the first time in the history of me speaking in public when I am going to speak specifically uh, about MariaDB bugs and feature requests for the wider audience. So this session is about upgrades. Best practices of upgrades are documented. 
Actually, you should take a backup. You should shut down your uh, server cleanly if you use an ODB and you do. You have to upgrade the binaries, install packages, or just install separate tar uh, tarballs or, or whatever procedure you follow, build them from source, then start uh, MariaDB server new version, ideally with skip grant tables, for a sole reason, to run MySQL upgrade. So it's documented that it's a must. You may skip skipping grant tables, you may skip running MySQL upgrade to end up with a lot of different problems later. So I suggest not to do that. So, uh, why we are discussing? If it's all documented, just follow the best practices. If you had not, then it's your own problem. There is one important question. Uh, for years, for decades in MySQL world, it was stated that upgrades in between major versions uh, should not skip intermediate major releases. So, if you upgrade from 10.1 to 10.5, you should do it step by step. Monty's point was that uh, actually in MySQL uh, it may be the case, in MariaDB it should not be the case in general, other details aside. So, uh, and he relies in this regard on MySQL upgrade utility. So we have to discuss what it really does and why uh, it may be really the case that you can jump from here to there. One important detail here that when you upgrade to major releases there is a key point. If you upgrade to 10.4 or newer, it's a big deal because there are changes in the content structure engines used in MySQL database that are really important. We will also speak about the problems MySQL upgrade cannot and is not designed to resolve, feature requests to MySQL upgrade and all that kinds of stuff. So, uh, for years and up to today we can read uh, that uh, upgrade should not skip versions in MySQL menu. And this same sentence used to be in our knowledge base and it's like a common belief in all support organizations I worked in that you should upgrade step by step. It has some additional value. It does. But on the other hand, it's just a lame statement uh, that we had not cared to check and to make my SQL upgrade work for other cases. We just don't care. Monty's point was that we do care in MariaDB. And we do, to a large extent. To an extent that we are trying to uh, make upgrades of this kind possible and we are testing, at least for simple cases, that we can upgrade from 5.5 to say 10.5 and maybe directly to 10.6. There is some automated testing in place. It's still an open discussion if uh, this goes beyond really simple cases. For example, if Galera replication is used, you cannot jump from 5.5 directly to 10.5. For sure, because Galera version 2 and Galera version 2, 4 are not compatible. You cannot just join the cluster of all the versions with Galera 4. But in general, MySQL upgrade is supposed, in simple cases, to solve all your problems you may ever have with any MariaDB release, starting from version 5.1, and maybe even with older MySQL versions as well. So, uh, if you care to find out what MySQL upgrade really does, you can read our updated knowledge-based article. Monty changed it to reflect his statements from his blog posts. Or, if you do not want to blindly believe Monty, you can do what I did in my blog post. You can enable general query log, run several or at least one upgrade scenario and see what SQL statements are executed by MySQL upgrade. It really works via SQL. So it requires started server, accepting SQL statements, and it tries to fix the problems in MySQL and all other tables with SQL statements in so called idempotent way, so where you can start start from any intermediate position but still end up with the same final result. It's more or less the same as it happens with uh, row-based binary logging. So if you started from somewhere earlier position and skip all errors while applying binary log, you will still end up with the same result. So this same idea. So if you enable the log, you will see the steps, what it does really. I will not read it for you. Everything uh, changed up to current release uh, in MySQL database. Then there is an attempt to upgrade each and every user table with the hope it works. Then flush privileges and we are done. If MySQL upgrade reports an error, then you are screwed up. 
you cannot assume that you can safely use this instance. If it worked without errors, what you have to do is restart the server, check the error log, there should be no errors after that, and then go use your new version. So, if you are even more curious, like uh, how you can cover all possible cases with just a single upgrade scenario, what is the internal logic? in the code. You can go and look at the code. That's my next step. Here are the links for you. There is MySQL upgrade. It's a client. It's a C program. You can read it. The key function there is called run SQL fix privilege tables. It refers to a static uh, array of SQL statements in include file with the word uh, extension .sql.c uh, that you cannot find anywhere in the source. It's created by make. In CMake list here you can find it and it's created based on the SQL source code you can find in this script. MySQL system table fix SQL. So it's executed sequentially uh, and if there are errors they are mostly skipped. So because uh, the problem is fixed later. One day I'll write about all this in details. Now you can just go and study the source code. So, uh, does current design of MySQL upgrade covers all possible cases? It should be so, but it is not. Uh, so, there is a set of tasks, and I've checked open tasks of feature requests for MySQL upgrade created since April 2020 and picked up several of them. The key one is an umbrella task uh, for all, most of the others is called upgrading MariaDB. So it's a collection of missing features or ideas of what Maria, uh, MySQL upgrade should do. Or it's called MariaDB upgrade in 10.5 and MySQL upgrade is just a link, remember about it. But it still exists, MySQL upgrade. So, for example, uh, uh, as we would like people to upgrade to MariaDB from MySQL, there are several related tasks which are not yet implemented. Virtual columns are incompatible, so we would like to fix that. Some uh, upgrades will not work. For example, I doubt you can ever upgrade in a binary way from 8.0. So there is a tool, there is a request for a tool that would check if upgrade is even possible. Uh, there are some internal changes in MariaDB that may require some additions so that current MySQL upgrade does not fix. For example, when we switch to real JSON data type implementation, it relies on a separate plugin. So if this plugin is missing, you cannot upgrade to the version where JSON means something else than just a text column with a set of functions at top. And so on. One of the key uh, feature requests that was uh, created by my colleague in support, by Hartmut, is a request to store MySQL upgrade version that it successfully upgraded to in the table somewhere in the MySQL database, not in the file as it is now. So it can be requested via SQL, maybe there could be several uh, rows in such a table, so we can have a history of upgrades and all that stuff. So these are main major feature requests. Known problems that are not yet resolved and we would like them to be resolved. So, uh, what are problems uh, that are still there but maybe not present in these feature requests? First of all, uh, MySQL upgrade does not do any magic besides uh, those steps I've already discussed. So it cannot fix your engine problems, it cannot fix any you know, big corruption, it cannot start MyRox if it does not start, it cannot install a plugin uh, if it's needed but it's missing, it cannot install or fix your ARIA tables and all like that. What it also cannot do is it it cannot fix MySQL check and specifically check table for update if it does not detect some problem and one of the recent cases uh, a lot to, I was personally affected and customers were affected is related to all date uh, time data types uh, that predates MySQL 5.6 in 5.5. Uh, internal representation changed and internal types changed and while versions like 10.1 can work with old date time, newer versions like 10.4 and 10.5 cannot and you, it can but you can hit a lot of varied problems, problems like uh, corrupted indexes for secondary indexes for partition tables. So, but MySQL check doesn't resolve it. Uh, check table for update doesn't resolve it. MySQL upgrade relies on that and so it cannot help in its current design. Besides the problems, there are also known bugs. Again, it's a list of recent bugs uh, of a bigger list of like 70 that were reported uh, since April 2020. 
Not all of them are really bugs in MyScale upgrade. For example, the recent one is actually a bug in the way the Docker image is created by the corporation. It is probably fixed by now. Uh, some of them are true bugs. For example, there are problems with MyScale event tables. If there are events in this table, you may hit problems during the upgrade. It's truly a bug. If there are no events, you never notice. The problem is related to the fact that area table is used as far as I remember. There are problems related to statistics table in InnoDB. Uh, they are like historical. Uh, MySQL hit it first. Uh, they are related to the limit on the length of the table name there. And uh, when partitions are represented by InnoDB table, the uh, complete name of this partition table is even bigger. So. This was later fixed, but it's still a problem in some older uh, MariaDB releases, not, all, not supported by now, but still. So, there are some set of problems and bugs related to roles, for whatever reason. So, depending on the way you upgrade it, you may start to miss uh, roles information, like here. Uh, what our QA also found, that even though uh, MySQL upgrade was supposed to to, to match the structure properly. There are cases when uh, by uh, uh, applying MySQL upgrade to all the release, you end up with a structure different than in the clean install of the same version. So there is a list of small differences. Most of them are probably bugs. So this is my bug report about all day time format. Uh, there are, again, yet another problem with rules. There is a problem when SQL nodes is set to off, my SQL upgrade is not designed to work in that way. And these three are somewhere in between feature requests and bugs. Uh, there are problems in InnoDB related to the fact that redulog format changed in 10.2. And when you're upgrading from the older versions, you may have problems with auto increment values for some tables. So, to summarize. This is a kind of summary uh, that I used in my blog post. Really, uh, what you should do is you should always run my scale upgrade at the very first step. You can skip it for years, but then you will get a lot of useless for you error messages in the error logs for years again, and you may get bad query results, you may get corruptions, all kinds of problems. It's really so. Uh, I really verified that MySQL upgrade is designed in so kind of idempotent way. So no matter which version you start from, for uh, major key points in uh, MySQL database, it just recreates, if not alters, all the things. The code is complex enough and it's getting more complex with new versions, so the bugs are expected and as the real history shown us, for over the last 8 or 10 months, uh, like dozens of bugs were reported, many of them fixed, some still wait. It's safe enough in a general case to run my scale upgrade repeatedly, it will refuse to run for a second time, but with force option it will work and it should not break things. There is a bugs, uh, there is a bug as far as I remember in unclear status in that area. Uh, assuming that check table for upgrade really works as, as expected by design, uh, I highlight that upgrade to skipping major versions may still work. That said, we are still fighting with bugs and problems during upgrade processes, and I suggest you to do what we do in support, report bugs to our Jira. Uh, as a last word before our Q&A sessions, I would like to thank MariaDB Foundation for this uh, first ever MariaDB uh, and Friends DevRoom at Fosten. Thank you very much. I'm waiting for your questions. Bye.